Hey everyone, this is Warren from the Rhapsody Piano Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Tarantella Napoletana. Now if you want to get the full experience out of learning this piece, make sure to check out my links to the sheet music and the entire video performance. Let's get started. Basically, the first page measures 1 to 32. You actually shouldn't practice this entire page because it's basically a repeat from measures 1 to 16. So that's what we're going to focus on. Let me play that section for you again. So let's take a look at the right hand. It really doesn't matter what order you follow. I'm just choosing my right hand. And when doing this, I actually recommend splitting it up from the beginning to measure eight. Notice here, these are all the notes we're playing in the right hand. Now when you get to measure nine, we're going to move our pinky to the letter E. You can think of this as just a descending five finger scale. So the main thing is just moving your finger from two to five at measures eight and nine. So I'll just recommend going back and forth like this. And then when you try it again from the beginning, when you're doing each little chunk from measures one to measure eight, And stopping at measure nine. So just keep practicing that until you're able to do that entire section. Now, if we take a look at the left hand, it's just a bunch of chords, which is a lot easier. There are just three chords that you need to be aware of. We have A minor root position. Then this is A. D minor chord, second inversion. If you know a little bit of music, theory, this is the harmony Roman numeral 4. And then if you look at measure 10, the only other chord you need to know is the E major chord first inversion. You can also call this the 5 of this key. So you just basically have to practice it in that order. Now in a nutshell, it just does this actually. So we're going one to four, back to one, to the five, back to the one. And that's the basic chord progression here. A minor, D minor, A minor, E major, A minor. And just do that enough times until you can get both hands together. If necessary, you could split it up from measures one to measure nine. So you can practice switching your fifth finger to E, but doing it hands together. And then continuing on. So just do a ton of slow practice there as well will help. of doing slow practice, one thing I've always highly recommended is watching the tutorial I have for this where I play from beginning to end because you can just skip to the sections you want and if you change the playback speed, you could also practice it and play it at whatever speed you want. All right, let's move on to the next section. <laughs> measures 33 to 48 but if you were listening you could hear that it's just a basic repeat from measures 33 to 40 so just practice measures 33 to 40 don't do the whole entire section i really think that's actually a waste of time now what is basically happening here in the right hand it's just these five notes only tricky part is you have to be aware of the turn here, going to G sharp with your second finger. So you 
might just want to practice that part a few times. Uh, that is measures 38 to 39. Making sure you're practicing that turn smoothly. So you're still getting a nice legato if possible, even if you're doing it at a faster speed. So you can hear it going up and down. That one's fairly straightforward. All right, moving on to the left hand. You take some time to think about it. There's really nothing new here. That's just the three basic chords we had in the beginning. The one, the four, and the five. It's just the pattern is different. So we're going one, four, one, four, one, five, one. That's really all you need to practice. And do that enough time so you go back to both hands. And that's all you have for this section. All right, let's move on to the next part. This is measures 49 to 64. Like we've been doing with the other sections, we're going to split it up. And in my opinion, you're gonna to wanna to practice this part the most because I think it's the most challenging. Well, let's just look at measures 49 to 56. Let's take a look at the right hand. And I'm gonna slow this way down for you. Actually, you want to stop it right at measure 57. That's kind of like the next part. You can connect that and you're going to have to practice this anyway. That little stretch back to the thumb on G. So here, going back to measure 49. When you have the fourth finger here, you have to get your thumb ready. It's kind of like you're contracting your hand here. So as you're playing this, your thumb should kind of be coming in. So it's able to play that B immediately and then switching your second finger immediately to the C. Let me demonstrate that again. So squeezing in, play with the thumb, second finger immediately on C. Now here, you're gonna switch your thumb to C. So you can kind of split it up into two different movements. And then, so just practice those movements separately, then putting it together. And then here it's fairly straightforward. Just those four basic notes. And if we put it together, here's what it sounds like again. Now if we go to the next part, that's similar. And here I'm gonna switch to three. I kind of didn't do that in the beginning. You switch to three, easier time to get to the pinky on B. And then from here, it's just pretty much a scale going down. So remember to switch at measure 60, fourth to third finger. So that's another movement to practice. And then the scale going down. Then put it together. And then backing it up to measure 57. Then you can practice this whole entire section if you want. I'll just play it for you right hand, starting at measure 49 again. And that's it for the right hand section. Let's go on to the left hand. We're gonna have some different chords and these are all gonna be in a major. So if you're looking at measure 49, this is a G major first inversion. If you're still doing a little bit of music theory, this is the seven chord, or you could just think of it as having modulated to the key of C major now. So this could be a five if you want to think of it that way, but I'm not going to go too much into theory here. Let's just stick with harmonies. So G major first inversion, going to measure 50. It's a C major chord, then G major again. So it's basically just going from G major to C major. And this is how I recommend you practice it. And then when you get both hands together, you just have to figure out which chord to play at what time. 
So let's do both hands together. I'll go really slow so you can kind of see and hear where to change the chords in the left hand. Obviously going to have to practice the right hand more. It's a more challenging part. Left hand is not that difficult. And that's all you have to practice for this because even though we have one more page left, it's exactly the same as the beginning. The only thing that is different is the very last measure. Now if we look at the second to last measure, you just have to practice the pinky going an octave up on A. Let me play the last line for you so you can get more context. And that's basically it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out all the links. And if you have any requests on what you want me to teach you next, would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. I'll see you guys next time.